So, question number three. First of all, I love the show. I'm curious what your opinion on the no fap movement is. Do you want to explain what the no fap movement right. is? Right. So, um, no fap movement was born around 2011 uh, by um, by the call of an individual called Alexander Rhodes. Uh, a dominant, um, predominantly, what it means is is an attempt. Um, a sort of a gamification almost of a, a no masturbation movement, right? So, so really kind of making sure that, yeah, you're not touching yourself as such. Why? So, why? <laughs> because there, there was this Chinese study that came out that found that, well, it found that at that particular study that men who refrain from uh, masturbating for seven days experience a 145.7% spike in testosterone on their seventh day. So there was the study that came out basically and this guy Alexander Rhodes that was like you know fairly fairly big guy I think on Reddit or whatnot like kind of decided okay this is it this is this is the moment and this is the time for us dudes specifically which is also another fascinating point and presumably uh, cis dudes I don't in know. the study uh, I, I, I mean I wouldn't necessarily think that Chinese study actually um, kind of made sure to I, mean, I don't know if there was like a lot of asking but I'm this, assuming but it was like a penis related oh, yes, study the, yeah 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 for sure for sure yeah yeah so um, yes I, I, I imagine so so um, uh, and so yeah they found that that was the thing and they were like yeah look that's it that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna so do so it's not because I when I because I, I didn't google this Mariam did but I assumed it was like no fat so therefore you have better sex but it's actually so you have higher testosterone why do they want higher testosterone so okay so it has been then adopted by uh, a lot of different movements so some of them were to actually improve one's uh, relationship some of them were a way to actually um, to move off of uh, porn addiction, mm -hmm. which I think is, is, is very interesting. And um, yeah, and some of it was, you know, basically what it always is, it began as a really awesome exercise. And actually, I think a lot of people like were, were rather sort of testing the limits of it. And then sadly, the misogynists kind of came mm. in, right? And, and then after, after a while, it basically became this thing where like, oh, those bitches women are taking away our glorious sperm sort of thing, you know? So, um, so it's not just no fap, it's also no sex. Well, it's like abstinence. It gets to that point eventually. I mean, there are different okay. strands. Yeah. There are some that are also there's like no porn strand altogether, right. you know. So, um, so, so yeah. I mean, kind of. So the opinions are, uh, I, fa I find it really fascinating that uh, it's only kind of taken uh, as to be for the dudes as such, right? So, because like women are then the servers, but like, but the man is the well, one. Well, because this is my take. Because like the bec because it increases your testosterone, it is to me a red flag because who cares but like I mean I know for a fact that like a lot of like cis men find it harder like to for example come from like uh, blowjobs because of like the, the hardness in which they grab their dick during masturbation and so like I thought maybe if that was the angle like I'm in a lot of groups online where people have advice on like my boyfriend never comes when I go down on him and they're like oh he should like masturbate less or masturbate looser so I feel like if it was like in order to create a better sexual experience with your partner it's not the end not a bad thing so there's been so many different strands of it and some of it so some of them really kind of there's again they really gamify the experience of so so um there, there are different uh, forum threads where they all monitor each other's, uh, you know, how many hours and how many days they've gone, you know, like, and um, which is basically if there's a support group for that, like for 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 anything that is to do with, I know, masculine issues, like yeah, I somewhat course. somewhat uh, celebrate that. However, numerous studies have come out since basically uh, negating negating that, that negating it on the ground that, that of particular the study. testosterone thing. yeah 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 that particular thing so no one yeah i think that was basically a fairly dubious study but it has like really taken roots and um but i feel like even if the science of like the testosterone thing is debunked the the like benefits in different ways of like masturbating less or masturbating differently are or could be a thing yes and again i think <laughs> there are those uh, those like somewhat yeah. healthier threads of it as well but since then, especially in like the kind of the fields of 4chan and such, there's been this real, um, yeah, as I say, sort of push to really um, see sperm as this like diamond juice, you know? <laughs> and, like, and basically no one is getting it, and like they're basically being like, this is my treasure, this is, this is, this is basically, this is has to stay in me. It has to stay in me because it's it's just it's it's what give, gives me strength like Samson's had, <laughs> and uh, so um, sadly, uh, you know. So we covered the. Um 
the kind of the YouTube, uh, the, the, the misogynist YouTubers yeah. from, um, from in the last episode, and the, sadly those uh, kind of trends are coming to coming together. Uh, what, if, what if it was for the purpose of creating a baby? Is that is that legitimate use of spunk? Um, I'm, 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 I think they're having those conversations right. there. You know, I think probably yes, because then it's like, you know, like the 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 the, the, go, the gold, the diamond juice. I don't know. Like it becomes something else. So it's not wasted. It doesn't end up like on toilet paper or whatnot, right? Or in a right. condom. Like it, it begins to live. So perhaps there's more utility to it then, right? So it's basically uh, yeah. Again, there's. I mean, I also I, I I don't know. Do you have you ever tried? not to like touch yourself well i know for example like when i use my vibrator it's like definitely hard for me to get off with someone's tongue like for sure there's a correlation but do you find that after you haven't touched yourself for a longer time like do you then like come more like come easier is it like whatnot? bad if i say i've never experienced not touching myself <laughs> for a very long time <laughs> oh yeah, no yeah <laughs> like how long are you talking hours or days i don't know like there's been periods <laughs> in my life where i felt like not attractive or like i don't know fat or gross or oh no all I know all of these think things like when I'm like know. camping or something oh no camping <laughs> camping masturbating is the best really? actually like in the fresh air like I'm like, um but uh, yeah <laughs> no but like there have been periods in my life where um so that's where I'm kind of getting to it's just like I remember it? that like yeah definitely there's been like weeks where like I feel gross I don't feel sexual at all so like I'm not touching myself and so I wonder if these men perhaps are stuck in that loop uh, but then they're creating a somewhat a political project out of this. Well, then it ties very strongly into the whole incel thing, right? Like taking pride in the fact that you're not getting some in whatever sure. way, even if it's like self love. <laughs> so that's the thing. But it is self love, right? And yeah, I no, it is. Sorry, but, I and I didn't. No, and I didn't feel that at those particular. Like I didn't love yeah, myself, okay. so I couldn't. But you didn't take pride in it, or like no, no. The pressure kicked in. Yeah. The pressure kicked in big time, and so then. I mean, eventually, like, it kind of changed. But what if it doesn't change for you? And then you read that, like, oh, shit, this is actually, there's, like, a, there was positivity to that. And or there's a community behind this. If you're a very alienated yeah, individual. Yeah, no, sure, the community of everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so you feel unattractive. You you're, get stuck in that loop. And then, like, and then, basically, you get, like, further and further into what it, you know, basically, you find some sort of meaning out of that, and perhaps, I mean, hopefully, at the end of the day, then your confidence grows or something. Well, and like then pride like and abstinence is a thing in general, by right? you feel good for having the self control to not do a certain thing, like smoking. It's also like it's, there's kind of this like religious connection there as mm. well, right? Like, I mean, it's fascinating that this sort of thing would have been happening, like, yeah. uh, you know, in, 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 in monasteries or whatnot, or like just with, with yeah, the like Christian, you know? like, you, yeah, we're you, only you get now off very, denial. yeah, we're only now very openly talking about like you know touching yourself or whatnot but like that's in our milieu most people like that's 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 not i think still it's not it's not i don't know but there's a difference between not talking about it and not it. doing it like everyone did it even the like i wonder i wonder jacked off i mean they probably did but like who knows but like they probably thought it's a sin right so there's just a sure, whole, like, so they had self -hate self-hate for doing thing. it yeah yeah so again it's a it's a it's a hatred thing but yeah basically i can sort of see how a person gets to that space i i worry because again those are those sort of strands that we're trying to to yeah to talk if the to emphasis message. on like the build-up of testosterone is the thing that yeah like say gives me red flags more than like the choosing not to masturbate for various reasons like if you choose not to masturbate so you like have a spectacular orgasm at a particular occasion that's kind of cool right yeah and then but again it goes to the other side of the spectrum right where like again been stuck inside for days and probably yourself right and yeah. like and that also brought me the pressure and that's what the conversation exactly. about the days like, I've spent in bed just like watching porn and masturbating have not been my like finest moments yeah 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 but then again okay so two things two things there so um so yeah so one i wonder then you know it definitely helps i guess people that may think that they have an addiction or something uh second yes. of all i kind of I don't know if I should make that analogy, but fuck it, I will go with that. Like, there is, if you, I also feel a similar way after I was probably inside for a couple of days gaming, you know? And there's because there's that judgment of gaming, and I wonder if it's because there's the judgment of porn and touching yourself and that sort of stuff. So, like, after you did it for a couple of days, is it that... You know, right. is it that, is it that it was actually like an Is it the activity or the stigma? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like doing any one thing continuously for a long period of time does bring depression just because you haven't Anything. you haven't diversified yeah. your activities. It could be watching films or it could be... Yeah. yeah. And I also think it's solitary things as well. Things that you don't do. Is, like, I, for example, feel much better 
spending a, ga a day gaming with a, a friend or a partner than I would doing it by myself. And I think it's the idea of like self isolation that brings yeah. the depression maybe more. Yeah, than or like me. having sex for three days. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's, that's fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think that's the the problem. Well, but then again, I mean, it shouldn't. Shouldn't. Be, but I also think it's something about the activities inside a house. Like we, yeah. you know, if someone is like hiking for three days, but only hike. Oh, I don't know, like doing like. Oh yeah, that's wholesome. Cycling. If they go hiking oh, by yeah, themselves, it's cute as fuck, mm -hmm. right? But like, fuck that noise. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of. I'm worried that it's still a sort of a, a, a judgment thing more than anything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm very. Obviously, I'm not like pro no fat like you do you literally, but also. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but also, I do think that there's something to be said for recognizing your relationship with masturbation and how that may be like inhibiting your sex life with another person. And also, it's, it's totally your cool if you'd rather watch porn and jack off than sleep with someone else. Legit, I've been in that place and I've loved it. But I do think, I do think there's an interesting dilemma or issue like because sensitivity does decrease. And is that true? Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, anecdotally, okay. from lots and lots and lots of people, yeah, but not okay. with many. I have no citations on me, so okay. yeah, maybe. Okay. Okay. So Citation no, me. Here, like. <laughs> okay. Also, like my only last, like I really didn't want to go there towards like, oh, I pity like you kind of steal yourself of such a pleasure. But I will say, how the fuck do you survive a hangover? Without like an orgasm, I don't really understand. Yeah, well, they're probably the kind of purists also don't drink, right? Because purism is like a purism thing. Oh, maybe. But I don't know. Like they don't necessarily talk about like not drinking and not and not touching them. Also, I find it really interesting because I don't jack off when I have a hangover. It gives me a headache. <laughs> you would like because I'm like, I don't know, oh fuck me. <laughs> it's a painkiller. No, it's it's it's, 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 it's my, all the blood rushes to my head and it just emphasizes the headache. It's That's <laughs> what I'm saying. That like we have such different perspectives as such. Mm. To me, it's like no, I have a like a like a killer a headache. And then I come, and then it's like gone for like half an hour, comes back. So, but I don't know. That's lovely. Fascinating. Yeah, it's like the medicine. Yeah. Anyways, anyways. What? Oh, okay. Right. Wow. Are we done with that? Oh, God. <laughs> My employability is like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh this is great. Fascinating. Oh, like, oh, every yeah. like I enjoy it, and then I'm like, oh my God, why the fuck? Oh, yeah, I no, I know, I know, yeah. Like, I'm trying to apply for jobs right now, and like. I'm like, Google me as like a trade unionist that has a sex, sex show. Like, I, mean, I mean, that sounds excellent. So Yeah, but yeah. bosses, <laughs> not, uh, like, yeah. All right, so I hope that, thank you so much for the question. These are our takes on NoFap movement. And um, I hope we sort of dissected it enough. Well, like, I mean, again, you know, we have very subjective opinion of this. We are just a bit sad that perhaps some awesome, cool men are out of the market because of that. Like, that's, that's just shit, you know? So we hope that... Um, you know, that one can find sources of solidarity and communal, I don't know, communal experience that would be different than this. But, um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, like, you don't do you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I, next? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>